Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'd like to share with you the four ways to find and add notes to your composition in Fusion. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're in the Fusion page and I would just like to share with you the four different ways to add node to your composition. They are all valuable depending on what you do and the context. So the first one will be simply here to take something from this bar. So here I will just take, for example, a background and then I can just select here rectangle mask and so on and so forth and just start building my composition from that. It's just one of the best way to bring what you need very quickly because here you have a bunch of stuff that you're going to use on a very regular basis. If the default bar is not enough for you, you can just create your own bar. So here I have one dedicated for shape, for example. I will link to the video where I talk about how to customize those bar in the description below. So yeah, that will be the quickest and most common way to bring a node into your working area to start working and creating your composition. But as mentioned, it doesn't contain every node. So at some point you might need to go over to the effect library to just get all the nodes that doesn't appear here in your bar. And in your effect library, you have also some templates that are just a composite of multiple nodes. And those templates can give you a starting point depending on what you're trying to achieve. So here you can have the tool, the open effects and the template. Right now, we're just gonna be focusing on the tool. You can just untoggle this and here you can just scroll to whatever you may need. So here blur, it will just give you all the blur options that you can use and then you can just drag the option that you prefer and just add it here in your working area. To me, the library is great when I'm not exactly sure what I need. I'm creating something, I'm trying to solve a problem, but I'm not exactly sure what node could help me achieve what I want. So I'm just kind of browsing what are my options. What kind of mask can I use? What kind of blur can I use? What kind of effect is available here in Fusion? There is so many different possibilities and the effect library is just great to quickly browse between those different options and just try out what can work for your case. Because even though that's great to be able to see everything at once, that's not the quickest way to bring a node in your working area when you know what you need. The third way and quicker way to just bring a node could be to just right click and then select add tool and then you can just bring any tool that you need so here you have basically a mini library that just prompt open and you can select the node that you want it's working here in your node area but also on your viewer and that's where i'm using it the most actually is here for example if i have a background that i brought i can just right click on it and go to effect mask and just select the mask that i need so in that case that will be a rectangle but i could just select just as well a polygon tool by right clicking again on it and then polygon so that's the third one the last one and the quickest one in my opinion is to use a shortcut the shortcut is simply shift space and it just prompt open the select tool window and then in here if you know what you're looking for i could just search here for transform node and it will just give me the option with transform in the name of the node so in that case i'm just going to use the first one that is proposed and bring it in the advantage of that technique also is that it's browsed directly here to my composition right after the node that was selected. So in that case here, if I were to select the blur, it shifts space on my keyboard and bring again a transform node, it will just be browsed right after my blur. And if I wanted to apply a mask, for example, here on that background, if I want a rectangular mask, I can just select the background, it shifts space on the keyboard, search for rectangular mask, and then enter and it will just be directly apply here as a mask so you're saving a bunch of time because you don't have to just connect things with arrow it will just be applied automatically well sometimes that's not what you want because you will need to redirect your connection and have maybe something going to the foreground or to the background or to the mask but in 90 percent of the case that will make you way faster and that's pretty much it i hope this quick video about node was helpful please let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one bye Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.